hello friends so today i'm going to show you how you have to install the suse linux on your system like how you have to build a suse server on your system like if you're planning to l if you're planning to learning suse linux then like you have to install the suse linux on your system you know so how you have to do so all those things i'm going to explain you today so in this video i can say i'm going to explain you step by step like how you have to build the SUSE server okay so I'm just requesting you all of you please watch this video till end so you can get the clear picture like how you have to install that one fine so before uh, like you know I'm going to show you how to install how to set up SUSE ser server SUSE Linux we, you need to do few pre-request things means you have to uh, you have to uh, collect the some information and some file before you going to install so basically first two things you have to do one is uh, you have to download the suse ioso Im image from the suse website you can go to suse.com and uh, then click on the free downloads and you can see here lots of suse products are available as per the requirement you can download download from the suicide so in my case I have alo already downloaded I will show you you can see it's uh, I have already downloaded you can see uh, open suicide lab 15.2 DVD IOSO image so I have already this file second thing so you have to download the virtual box like so you have then you have to be, uh, build the VM or else you if you want you can use the VM uh, VMware workstation also for uh, build the server but in my case in this today video I'm going to show you through the virtual Oracle virtual box fine so these two things you have to download so virtual box also I have already downloaded in my system it's a install so you can do uh, if you want you can download it from the virtual box dot org fine so now let me start the process how we have to install so I can see one SUSE VM test is already it's showing here let me remove this one let me remove this one delete all files yeah fine good so when you see open the virtual box you can see it will window will be look like this this will be open and these are the my VM in the it is installed in my system that Terraform NFS Kali Linux okay but I'm going to show you how to install the SUSE Linux so that from the that I can say from the scratch from the beginning so I'm go going to explain you how you have to do so you have to click on the new first once you click on the new this window will be open now here you have to give the VM name so in my case I'm going to give here SUSE test underscore VM so the test VM, my VM, okay, my VM, fine. So this is my VM name. Here you have to select the type. So it's a Linux. You have to click on the Linux here version. So this is my uh, 64 because my system is supporting 64. So I am selecting 64. If you if your system is selecting 62, then you can select the 62, or else you can select the 64 as per your system support. I can say, fine. Now it's a showing this second option. You can see it's a showing one option. It's machine folder. Let me show you what is machine folder. Go to the windows. Let me type here. So this machine folder is, you know, like where your VM files, once you created the VM, that files will be stored. So this is, the, if you go here, you can see my all the VMs information are showing here, right? So this is a path where your VM is. Uh, files will be stored once you create the VM you can change it by default uh, once you install the virtual box by default uh, like path will be select your user home directory but you can if you want you can change it you can like uh, select your own like uh, some different location if you want in my case I'm not going to change anything okay because I have already a uh, few VMs inside this path so I'm not going to change anything now you can click on the next 
second you can see it's a memory size it's asking so in my case i'm leaving this so this is 1 gb okay like 10 20 approx 1 gb so i'm not going to change uh, like but if you want you can use the 750 also 512 also it will be work i have a sufficient memory so that's why i'm using the 1 gb okay if you don't have that much memory on your system you can reduce the memory size you can use the 550 750 also fine let me click on the next now now here you can see it's a hard disk all right so suppose if you have the see there is two options do not add the virtual hard disk like it's telling now this first option is telling now you don't add any hard disk you just create the vm second option is a create a virtual hard disk means you create the virtual hard disk as, as immediately third third option is that third and last use the existing like if you have already any existing hard disk like where you the where you like uh, wants to install then you can choose that one fine so in my case i'm going to show you from the scratch so i'm not going to select this two option add the do not add the uh, virtual hard disk and use the existing one i'm going to select the creative virtual hard disk now then click on the next here you can see hard disk type so there is three types hard disk it's showing here so as of now i'm not going to explain you what is the difference between these three you can go and google it if you explain here then you know video length will be too long like more than one hour so that's why i'm not going to touch these three parts anyway this video will go around one hour because i'm going to show you explain you step by step how you have to install okay fine so in this th uh, this part i'm uh, skipping like definition part so you can go and google it for this thing so in my case i'm going to select the vid virtual box disk image first option and then click on the next now second like this window you can see two options are showing fixed size and dynamic allocated dynamic allocated means you can if you select the dynamic allocate you can reduce and increase if you select the fixed size you can't do anything if you suppose sup if you're giving a 10 gb now and then if you wants to increase that one you can't do it right so i'm going to select the dynamic allocate Now you can see in the file location and the size. So here this is same that location you can see on my I told you right this is the location. This is the location and here it's going to uh, store the all the file, file location and size. It's going to store here. Now here it's showing the size. So by default when you're creating any VM, so it will take 8 GB like a virtual box or I'll select the 8 GB that is also sufficient i can say but i'm going to give here 10 gb right so 10 gb i can say a standard for learning purpose right why because you know we need some store the once you we build a bm bm then we need to keep some documents also some videos also so at least 10 gb we require so i'm going to select the 10 gb for 8 gb also it will work the okay but I can suggest you keep 10 GB okay but if you building a server in a, any organization like uh, if you're working in any company and then you're building any server so there you know there's some standard sizes and like you have to keep at least 40 to 50 GB fine but I'm not going to uh, touch that those part let me ex because I this video I can say it's for learning purpose who wants to learn the SUSE and how to install the SUSE so that's perspective I'm going to explain you. Fine. Now I as 10 GB I given. Now click on the create. Fine. Once you create here, you can see your SUSE test my VM is ready to use now. You can use it now. So it's showing here. Before I'm going to use this VM, you need few things, few settings settings is required then it will be work
what setting is be like uh, before I'm going to install the SUSE. I can say so few settings are required. So select the VM, go to settings. In settings, first option is coming general option. So that general option like name, like your VM name, and the next tab. You can so it's all like I can say okay. So I'm not going to change anything here. System, a system you can see memory. So you can change suppose by uh, when you creating a VM and that time you're giving a 512. Now you want to increase the memory size. So in this option system you can go and increase from the up and down button or else you can directly remove this option and you can you can give it anything like this okay so I'm but I'm not going to change anything in that case so this is my memory you can increase and de decrease memory from the this option set system second you can see processor like if you want to give the two processor then you can that also can increase and decrease as per your core values core CPU uh, like like uh, how many code you have so as per that you can increase or decrease for learning purpose uh, one code is fine I can say so I'm not going to change anything on here so fine so this system you can see I told you this memory and CPU part you can do it from but as of now I am not going to change anything and I suggest you also don't change anything like for, for the processor part it will by, de by default automatically it will take as per the requirement yeah if memory part you can do it as per a requirement if you need more memory you can assign the more memory memory if you need if you thinking really like no, that that much memory no need then you can decrease it okay and display here also I'm just suggesting you don't touch anything because this is a resolution part like a screen resolution once you build the server then it will be you know that a screen visibility and kind of things so don't change anything here yes a storage this part so in this part you can see here it's showing one CD icon is showing and here it's showing empty so you have to click because we have to assign the ISO still we didn't assign the ISO right which one we downloaded so in this section you have to assign that ISO so you have to click a storage and then click on the empty once you click the empty you can see this option is highlight here now you have to select on the I this CD icon once you click on the CD icon so you can see these are the swing option why because previous I al already installed many times these things so that's why it's showing here so in your case if you're installing from the scratch it will not show so what you have to do you have to click on the choose a disk file okay once you select here then you go to the path where you have ISO image if you have in a download of folder you can select the download folder if you have a document document music as per uh, where you have that file ISO file you can select that path and then you can select the I ISO image okay so uh, let me select this ISO image fine I'm not going to change anything in audio yes in network part in network part if you are using this uh, Oracle VM box virtual box then what you have to do you can click on the adapter one and uh, you can see it's uh, enable the network adapter yes now you have to select here change the uh, network type you can select host only adapter and then click on the advanced and you can see it's showing deny right mode so you have to select under all VMs fine now you can see select under the adapter 2 okay once you click on the adapter 2 then you can here click on the enable the network adapter and then uh, once you click on the enable the adapter then you can cli click on the network type NAT and then once you click on the NAT then go to the advanced yeah fine Wha once you one second yes this is NAT yeah fine so click on uh, click on the enable the network adapter and click on the NAT one second okay fine yeah 
so now it's done now click on the ok once you click on the ok now what you have to do you have to click on the start yes once you click on the start here is again it's asking select the start of this so what you have to do you have to click here and that which one you dis selected the right in a storage part that this will show here you can select directly this one and click on the start let me close this pop-up fine so So in this uh, screen you can see it's uh, uh, giving a few options, right? Few options are displaying here. So in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to show you installation part. So what two option you have to select? Installation part. Installation. So click on the installation. How you have to select this one? Because mouse will not work here. So how you have to do? You have to use arrow key in your keyboard down arrow key once you select you can see it now it this option is a gray means like it's selected installation if you press up arrow key it will go up no, down like that so i'm going to show you installation so i select the down arrow key and then click on installation once you select the installation then hit enter I'm just uh, I'm just highlighting over you guys like this video will at least one hour uh, long like duration you long one hour but I'm just requesting you all of you please watch this till video end so you can get the clear picture so how you have to install the Terraform and if I think uh, Ubuntu how you have to install Ubuntu server that video I have already uploaded on my YouTube channel Red Hat I will make another video and then I will upload where Red Hat is sent to us okay and uh, previous video I have uh, last week I uploaded that video for the interview questions so I got lots of response on that video so thanks for everyone and, and also I got uh, like a uh, few comments personally through the email and uh, so on the video like uh, make a video with the question answer so I, I will prepare the question answer uh, interview question answer video and then I will upload uh, but before that I still few uh, questions are pending so that uh, I will upload first so you, you know like what I'm thinking means you know we are like one we are working once you're in an uh, organization as a daily task daily basis activities right so that question i'm taking and that uh, points are taking and then making a questions and definitely that question that are they are asking also in an interviewer so like uh, in a related the file system how you have to create the lv pv kind of things uh, boot process how you have to troubleshoot kind of things so so generally i can say that for the real time i can say which one we are working so that that point i'm just noting down and then taking a question from there so i will upload the video may another video with the question answer so in the soon but before that i have to upload one more video like uh, for the few questions are pending like for related the file system nfs hard uh, uh, hardware uh, still scripting so that I will first upload then I will make another video fine so now you can see license and the keyword license agreement like you uh, have to click next here now once you click on the next you can see one pop-up is coming this pop-up is is telling the system has an activate network connection additional software is available online activate online repository now it means if you click yes you know it will ask the registration key kind of things and then that 
but I don't have right now because I'm using a free version, free trial version. So I don't need to any additional software as of now. So what I have to do, I ha I will click on the no option. I'm not going to register online now. Okay, so I'm going to click on the no. Like if you have the any registration code ending, then you can click on the yes, or else you can also click on the no. Fine. Once you click on the no, you can see now system rule. So, which system rule like which like why you going to install? So by default there are some uh, in, uh, like, like image files are there. If you select the server, then, then it will server. If you select the uh, GUI base, then you can select a desktop. Okay. So these are the template I can say. So I'm just going to use generic desktop okay for the learning purpose i'm going to use you can choose generally i'm using the server but uh, for you for you guys i'm going to select the generic desktop okay you can select it you can select anything here from as per your requirement uh, for if you're going to learning purpose then i can suggest you go with the server okay click on the next yes so here is a suggested partition suggest suggested partition means you know like there is two option first is uh, like if you click on the next then by d uh, you know by default automatically that system will be create the partition and then they will assign but if you want to create your own like manually then you have to create the partition things so if, if I click here next you can see see automatically that will be create that system will automatically create the all the partition but I will show you go back so if I click on next automatically system created the partition like slash home slash where as per requirement slash boot slash root all those things created but if you need to create your own then you can go with the yeah, guide setup and you can click on the here the enable logical volume and then click on the next and then you can select the here file system type exp4 then click on the next uh, like as per requirement you can select the uh, xfs also so but in my case i'm going to select the xt4 okay let me show you again enable enable here so the, these are the file system generally two and three we now we are not using so you can use exp4 xfs also and the btrfs is also there so generally we are using the XFS because this is a small uh, things we are not going to do any large thing so I'm going to select the XT4 same thing once you click this one if you click on the here next you can see so that LVM is a created but a still file system is not created right that part LVM is a created that wha that's why I want to show you that only the LVM is a created but uh, still that you not created the slash boot uh, swap and uh, where this thing right so what we have to do we have to this one we already done already did now you have to click on the expert partition and expert partition you can see it's a uh, start with the uh, current partition and start with the existing partition you, if you click on the start with the current partition so you can see these options are showing here what uh, as of now its partitions are there so this is the 8 MB is for the boot you can see and SDA SDA 2 is a P, this a PB like uh, it's a created and it's a system LVM you can see XT4 and a slash root if you click on the here accept and click on the next now it's uh, created a synchronized with the NTP so it's time syncing now here you have to select the clock let me select the India here so what you have to do you have to select the first Asia because I am and then you have to click here Kolkata yeah, Kolkata once you collect this Kolkata then you have to click on the next
in this option local users like uh, suppose if you want to create any user local user by default you will create the root user right if you want to create any local user then you have to click here create the local user and then you can use it here username so test suppose i'm giving a test user full name test vm okay and username is test okay let me assign some password here so this is a password let me confirm the password fine now you created the user now you can see there is two options are there what is telling use this password for the system administrator and automatically log in so if you you use this password for the system administrator like you this password also you can use for the system admin okay and if you don't want to create this user then you can click on the skip user creation okay so if you click here you can see it will not create this user okay but i'm going to click a, create a one user also local user this is the local user not a root user right root user will create automatically fine i will show you that one auto automatically it will create fine now you can click on the next now you can see installation part is started i will show you how one second So before I'm going to uh, installation the part, you, you have to check all those things. You so you can see booting, it's showing here. It's it's showing here software. And here it's a graphics mode, like which run level, like we are talking about run level. That run level. Oh shit. It's a click. Okay, fine, no problem. Let me search it. No problem. It's a hardware tested. Okay. Now you here you can see security. So CPU. This firewall. It's a disable. SSH service. It's a enable. SSH port will be block if you click here so you can see block but because if you put the block then you cannot do ssh from the outside so you, you cannot uh, logging the server through the putty so need to open right so i have to click here you can do later also like once you install the system then then also you can do but in here it's this option so say they're giving one option you, so you in this option you can do it SSH service. If you click here, disable that service will be not automatically will start. You can do do later also, but let me click here enable because I we need to log in through the outside this server, right? This the firewall. If you enable disable, then it's a disable. So let me disable it. No need to enable firewall as of now. And this is a network config. If you need to assign the IP kind of thing, but I right now I'm not going to change anything because it, well, I need uh, this one system will boot by default. It will take uh, DHCP IP. Okay. So these are the options. All are correct. Now let me click on the install. You can see it's asking the confirmation. Do you want like you need to install or cancel? Back means. No, I need to install. Click on the next install is now installation progress. So you can see performing installation. That option is showing, and it will take few minutes to complete this one. We have to wait. So before this one, let let let's going to install this one. So in meanwhile, meanwhile I'm going to show you something. So go to the Google and type my linux my linux cloud okay once you put my linux cloud so 
so you can see this is a my linux cloud is showing here right click on this one so this is my web website my linux cloud here all uh, i can say real, uh, linux cloud and shell scripted uh, scripted related documents are available so as per your requirement if you want you can go and visit this website i will give this website link in video description okay like what is the difference between ext2 ext3 and ext4 so all the definitions are here if you go you can go and read it like uh, how much storage how to extend lvm partition you can see so i uh, like through the screenshot i explained you can see all i have given all those things and even even videos is also available like you can also watch this video how to extend so i can say all the linux related documents are available all all, all the all the interviews and, and the linux related documents are available interview questions if you click on the interview questions you will get you will get the interview questions list here okay like topic not uh, questions all the uh, interview question topics related are here and uh, file data user management also so th this this is newly blog which one i created and uh, whenever i'm getting a time you know so then i'm uploading the things are here you know blog <laughs> is a very hectic to write all those things because it's taking lots of time to write these things right and once you write then it, uh, you have to arrange the elements are proper way so it's a time taking i can say so whenever i'm getting a time then i'm uploading uh, the blogs like posting the blog and and one more thing like uh, suppose this suppose uh, like for example i will show you one thing uh, like suppose uh, linux boot process okay and uh, if you really think this article this posts uh, uh, po uh, posts are good really good then what you have because i have all explain all those things from the basic right and if you thinking it's uh, really it's good then if you want to share it you can directly you can click on the see whatsapp facebook twitter linkedin all those things are there you can click on the facebook like that okay and then you can give an email id and you can say it share it okay like linkedin same thing fine so this is uh, my blogs and uh, i will show you my youtube channel also My YouTube channel name is Tech Color Knowledge. This is my YouTube channel. Go to playlist. Okay, and uh, if you go to the playlist, uh, you can see all like VMware, Linux, Network, and so all uh, AWS. All those things are there. In the VMware, also like how you have to build the uh, install. The Hi friends. <coughs> So, are there if okay. Okay. so these are th things are there right so w what i'm thinking you know like uh, whenever uh, when i uh, whenever I things are learning i'm making a note right and after some time i also forgetting so what i planning and you know when i'm learning and this uh, which one i know already so why not upload the video and write the blogs so few people it will help for me also as an as well as people who need this thing it will help for them also fine so let me check wait what is the status it's going on you can see it's uh, going on 56 percent it's completed it will take time to complete these things because all the files will be installed so it will take time we have to wait we don't have any other option
59s should be completed it will take time because all the files are installing right copying from the ISO to this local hard disk so it will take time Yeah, now you can see it's telling the notification the system will be reboot now. If you click OK or, or, or else this time will be, you can see now as per the time set, it will automatically be reboot. Now, no need to select any uh, things like installation part because we have already installed. So, let them system boot from the hard disk because already all those files are installed so system is booting from the hard disk now you can see it's uh, op opens to uh, now it's showing two option by default it will as per the set uh, timing set in a uh, co uh, conf file it's starting the installation uh, like starting the uh, server
yeah fine now you can see your system is ready yeah you so now you can see cool timing so it's, it's 3 14 feb uh, sunday and then 10 o'clock at night same thing in india 10 o'clock night so time is uh, perfect right what is this one two, one two three four i think this is a screen okay fine leave it click on here and uh, you can see there are lots of options are there so i really need uh, like uh, background desktop background things okay i really like it what is this one Th this is themes you can change it as per requirement no, what is let me change it see it's a windows thing 95 <laughs> it's really good what is this like oh nice it's really nice let me change it something different okay uh, this is these are the themes you can change it as we do same thing yeah fine so this is theme option this is the help and this is window what okay work space two three four okay what is three four okay i got it this is uh, like a screen okay so which window you have there and this is the utilities desktop the screen savers so i need a uh, first terminal and like uh, we need to check the ip and the host name things so let me open the terminal let me go to the suse and then let me open the utilities desktop no there so once open the system system and you can see it's terminal so this is a terminal right let me first take the ip what is ip yeah let me log into the footy 192.168.56114 Let me check sudo su give the password Check the system CTL status. System CTL status SSHD. Okay, it's not running. So let me start first. Start status. Now it's running. Let me try to log in now. And IP and everything correct. But let me check it first again. IP is one ninety two, one sixty eight, fifty six, one one four. Right, one one four. Okay, still not working. need to open firewall I think so let me check that one also let me connect one more time let me check the settings setting network settings host only adapter and once I all look net perfect perfect then why it's not connecting yet network timeout let me uh, stop this screen because it otherwise video will be too long yes
so actually it was uh, uh, firewall disabled so that's why we are not able to do SSH so let me show you how to enable the firewall so you can run this command firewall hyphen cmd let me let me type there so it will be easy for you guys let me yes fine so you have to use this command okay firewall in console very difficult to type anything and write firewall hyphen cmd and then hyphen hyphen per manent and e and t permanent hyphen hyphen john equal to public then hyphen hyphen add hyphen service equal to which service like uh, need to add so ssh service name hit enter yeah you can see now it's showing success after that you have to reload the <coughs> firewall rules so what you have to do again firewall space uh, sorry uh, hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen reload fine now let me check ip hyphen a now let me open the putty So what is IP? 192.168.56.114 Super! You can see now I am getting a login prompt. So let me root le login with the test user. Just give the password. fine so so I'm able to log in this machine now now let me change the banner so sudo su fine cool I'm able to log in the server as a root also fine let me change the banner vi etc okay let me remove this one insert this is test vm Test VM so say fifteen. Okay, and let type something like that. Okay, whatever you need to want to print it, the banner. Okay, then you can save it. Now what you have to do, you have to do change the VI. ETC SSH SSH and then SSH D conf here you have to search it search you can see it banner is on it's commented you have to do in on comment and then etc so i double s u e i double s u e okay now save it now let me restart system ctl restart ssh d 
now let me open another duplicate session test yes so you can see when I give a test now it's telling this is the my test VM right so as per your requirement you can give it so you can set it okay fine <coughs> so now let me show you the file system so I told you that we took automatic so you can see automatically system assign the file system to root slash root inside the root everything is available if you go here CD you can see all those things stamp OPT everything is there inside the available in the SUSE in the SUSE like and if you compare with the Red Hat and uh, CentOS and Ubuntu so like uh, mostly same like in Ubuntu also for patch manage is different we are there we are using the apt get and here in the red hat we are using the yum right or call we are uh, sent to us we are, we are using a yum but but in a suse we have we need to use jiper j a double p e r jiper update let me show you what's happening So here you have to use the Jaipur. You can see once I update the Jaipur, it's telling 483 new downloaded packages there. Let me patch this server first. So here you have to use Jaipur command. So the Jaipur you can install it, remove it, update it. Like similar like yum. Like in the initial we are using a yum command. Right, so here you can use the Jaipur command. Same thing. So around 500 MB data. So it will take time. So we need to wait. Let this this system patch, because once you install, uh, once you uh, build a server, you need to patch one time. I also suggest you, you guys, before you're going to install any package, any software like Python, anything, Hansible for Hansible learning purpose, Hansible Terraform, Python, anything. So before we are going to do that one, you have you need to patch the server. Means you have to up to date the server. So same thing I'm doing now. So it will take time. So we, we have we need to wait. percent 46 it will take down applying it's a kernel version also it's happening super I, I can suggest you you set the banner also in a banner you know 
uh, if you know the cell scripting so you know the how to write the programming things you can do the very 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 i can say very unique things you can do it you can run that program uh, things in uh, your you can write the program and then you can display that uh, things in uh, image like all the su like suppose uh, once you log into the server for example once you log into the server once you uh, give your uh, username so then automatically that all the uh, system related information will become like system name kernel version os version cpu memory hard disk so all the things like you can put through the script and uh, you it will be displayed no need to log into the like no need to go to the individual file and then you can say check it it will show you there so you can do that you have to design you have to uh, write the program and then you can do it Once you patch the server, once you update the server, then you need to reboot the server. So I will also do once this all the patches will be apply, then I will reboot the server. So why? Because you know once you are applying the package, you know when you're applying updating any software, so best practice is and you know need to reboot the server. So in a mobile also like you know like you when you're getting any update right so like it's saying update then once update then the mobile is going to reboot right because why because that patch is going to apply in a place so reboot is required this especially when you do when you're doing the patching like that time especially is required the reboot and like you know like if you kernel updating then definitely require the reboot it will take time you can see 78 still lots of files are there
20 files it will take time
müssten dann auch
fine finally it's uh, updated all those things now let me reboot <coughs> let me go to the console Okay, so this came up. Let me restart this one. Okay. SSD SSH the index service was not running, so that's why it was not able to not connect. Now you can see it's connected. So this is the way you can install the SSH Linux on your system. So I hope uh, you like this video. Uh, there are many things are still pending. I'm not going to cover in today video because if I cover, they will be very very too long. Okay, so if you need anything uh, required in the social Linux, please comment me and text me, email me, so I can make that video because there are lots of things, lots of things are there, right? So, so if you need anything, please uh, comment, uh, comment it so I can make a video for that one. Okay, so I hope you like this video. So thanks for your watching. Thank you.